Hi, I'm Gary Boss, the Marketing Director for Audio Technic, and I'm here at Sonic Electronics, and right now we're going to talk about polar patterns, or what people call pickup patterns. The polar pattern of a microphone describes how a microphone responds to sounds from different directions. And really, there are two general polar pattern types. Uh, the first is omnidirectional, and the second is unidirectional. Now, omnidirectional pickup means that sounds come equally from all directions and are picked up equally from all directions. And that's the front, back, bottom, side. Remember, this is a 360 degree pattern and a 360 degree pickup. Now, these types of mics are used more in applications where sound is recorded rather than in live situations uh, where feedback can actually occur. Many interview and video mics are omnidirectional when the environment is quiet, and this allows one mic to be used for two voices without having to pass the mic back and forth. Omni mics are also popular in many stereo recording techniques. Now, unidirectional means that a mic responds better to sounds coming from a specific direction and having less response from others. The most popular unidirectional mic, like I have here, is the cardioid. And the word cardioid comes from cardio, referring to the heart. Um, and you can see the little shape on a microphone. It's a little upside down heart, or some people call it a butt. This means that the mic is most sensitive to sounds coming from the front and less sensitive from sounds coming from the sides. And the th strongest rejection of this mic, or the null point of the microphone, is those coming from the rear 180 degrees uh, off the front of the microphone. Another term associated with unidirectional microphones is called the acceptance angle. This refers to the angle that the mic will pick up best. Cardioid mics, for example, have an acceptance angle of about 120 degrees. Okay? Another popular polar pattern for live use is the hypercardioid. Now these mics, like cardioids, have the greatest pickup from the front, but have more rejection from the sides. Now the acceptance angle of a hypercardioid is 100 degrees, so it's much tighter. To gain this tighter pattern, the mics will have a small lobe of pickup right here, right in the back. This is why you need to be familiar with your mics, because putting monitors directly behind a hypercardioid is not a good idea. The null point on a hypercardioid is 110 degrees off axis. So what you do is you find your on axis, and you go 110 degrees. I don't uh, do the math, but essentially if you just do it the other way and go 110 degrees, so it has two null points right here. These types of uh, microphones are popular for loud stages or weak singers where you need a little bit more distance. Again, a loud stage, you're gonna get less spill into the microphone. The vocalist just needs to remember that they need to be right in front of the microphone. You can't be off, you're going to lose the vocalist. Now, other popular un uh, unidirectional patterns are bi-directional, also known as figure of eight. You see those in a lot of studio mics and most ribbon microphones are figure of eights. These microphones pick up equally well from the front and from the back, but the null point on uh, figure of eight microphones is 90 degrees off axis. There's also a subcardioid pattern, which has a wider acceptance angle than a cardioid, and that can be useful when you're picking up more than one vocalist, maybe in a choir or a group vocal situation. The acceptance angle of a subcardioid mic is 170 degrees. Well, hopefully this uh, kind of gave you a little bit of information on pickup patterns and why different patterns are there, and uh, hopefully uh, you'll be able to make your next mic choice, and hopefully it's an Audio-Technica mic from Sonic Electronics.